So back in hmm, when August, August the seventh last year, so that's roughly six months ago. We did this video about how to upgrade your MacBook Pro with a SSD, which was previously something that I thought was not possible, but then we found this little adapter on eBay and upgraded the Mac. So today I thought we'll just go through some of the comments and then obviously what's going on here is not in the computer anymore, so let's have a chat about that. Just have a look at some of these comments that have came in. Usually I respond to all the comments, but I might as well just do it on here as well. So just in the order that they're here, did you have to take a backup before you did all this? No, I didn't have to take a backup, but I did. Just simply for like my photos, my Lightroom library, um, and a few other things. But I have a NAS drive, so everything's just backed up onto there, as and when. Has anyone done this and upgraded to Big Sur 1.21? Mine keeps giving me an error when I restart it. Know what version are we on here? So no, I've not had any, I've not done that yet, obviously, because it's not, this This is back on the original. Um, but I did have some issues when I was using this. If you would restart the computer, sometimes it would just come up with a flashing disk, like as if there was no hard drive, which was a bit um, weird. And so you could fix it just by switching the computer completely off and then starting it again, and it would pick it up. Uh, and it was also, I had Boot Camp installed for a while uh, and it had a bit of an issue with that. Does this work for a 2017 13-inch Retina? That's what this is. I've read the comments that it has been soldered like the Touch Bar one. No, the Touch Bar one's different. Um, so yes, it does work for that. That's what That's what this is. Hi Andy, is it still working? Do you have to check something before you do it? I mean, OS requirements or something. No, you don't have to check that. No, it's not still working. That's why it's not in there anymore. This is, We're back to the pathetic 128 gig flash drive that comes with it at the moment. Hi, have you had any... Oh wait, they were just like and heart that one, thumbs up and such like, keep it going. So we'll just do a couple more of these because you can look at the the video and see them all anyway. Hi, have you had any real issues with using a 2280? This must be a 2280. Overheating, wake up failure and it not fitting properly. Also, is Captain Tape better for controlling temperature? Well, right, now we're getting into the meat of the thing here. Yes, I've had issues, real issues. Firstly, because the computers just sometimes wouldn't start and I think that's because of the way it was fitted, perhaps. Uh, wake up failure, yes, uh, it didn't fit properly so it was taped down, so, and I think the Captain tape didn't help actually with any of that. Um, and one more, does the CPU cooler not heat up the SSD? Don't know, I'm considering doing this but to my Mac but just worried about the heat. Right, that's enough of that just now. Oh and in fact to just do that last one there. The best option to do this is an M22242 that fit perfectly in the adapter. And I think they mean that the screw will go into there perfectly. It wasn't an option for me because I'd already bought this one for about 80, 90 quid. And uh, there's nothing I can do with it now. I just have to use it. I've been making loads of YouTube videos recently. And the computer just sort of started slowing down. Like it got really slow. Um, to actually do anything, like especially editing the YouTube videos, it would just grind to a halt. It wouldn't process them. I thought it might, maybe it's maybe it's the disc is just like getting used up too much or something. Previously, I'd been working fine with Premiere Pro, so it was just a bit strange. So I thought I'll I'll format it. We'll put put it back to the start and just have another go at it. Backed up all my stuff and then went to format it and. It, cleared the disk all right and then when I went to install macOS again it said there was smart errors with the disk and I was like that's a bit strange so I tried looking around how to fix smart errors uh, but I wouldn't there was no way to do that so then I contacted the people that I bought it from on eBay and they 
got put me in touch with Western Digital to get a warranty replacement. So obviously it's not a year old, so still within warranty. So we got the, eventually got all that process done, sent it back and then received this one within a week or so, received this one back. And I was thinking, should I do that again? Because I'm not sure what caused it. Now it could be a few things. It could be that the captain tape was the wrong thing to use and maybe wrapping it in the captain tape the way that I did to try and isolate it from any uh, electrical, the wrong thing to do. It could be that it overheated because it sort of was jammed in and this part of the, I don't know if you can see there, there's like a little bit that sticks up. This part of the thing might have been pushing on it and caused like some sort of like pressure fault or something in the circuitry, don't know. Could also be that I left it on this windowsill right above this radiator in the winter time for about a week and it gets super warm here so that could have caused the overheating problem. Right now I'm sort of going either towards it being that it didn't fit properly because it was pushed up against that, could have been that or it could have just been that the drive was dodgy as well judging by the fact that warranty replacement was so quick to replace it and it wasn't a complete failure it was just a smart failure like it would still work it just wouldn't install mac os on it because it has this smart error detection um so i, I think we're going for it maybe swaying towards probably being uh, just a drive manufacturing issue so we'll see but now that we've got another one and i'm not going to buy the the 2242 one yet although it does look like the right one for the job, what I'm going to do is take this little brass bit off of here with a pair of pliers or something so that it's not pushing up against that anymore and then fit it all back together and see how we get on because, well, it's a hundred quid, it's a lot of money to just just go on when we're not going to use that one anymore. We still want to try and use it and hopefully it'll fit better that this time. I think that's maybe the best thing for it. Anyway, that's the whole point of this, just to see what happens, see how, see if we can fix it and make it better. Because right now we're back down to 128 gig flash drive, which is just miserable. Uh, so anyway, hopefully that answered a few of your questions. Come back for the next video where we'll either be fitting that one or fitting the smaller one.